Hi everyone, this is Mr. P and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the sand boots and the snow boots. So um, first things first thing is you need to head to Gerudo Town. And there should be like a uh, oops. There should be like a man that's jogging outside. He's right there. And uh, you you will need to go and talk to him. But make sure that you're talking to him in the Gerudo outfit. Otherwise he will not let you uh, take the boots. So you need to be in the Gerudo outfit. I already activated the quest here, so... But if you... Hold up. <laughs> so if you haven't done that, then you sh should need to... You will need to have a the Gerudo thing on. It's called the 8th Harrowing. And he says that if you find it, then he'll give you the sample. And today I'm gonna be sure show you... I'm gonna be showing you how to complete that. First we gotta catch up to him. So if you haven't already, talk to him and get the quest started. Just okay, right there. So you'll have to talk to him as a woman. And then he'd be he'll tell you to find he he'll give you the sand boots if you find a hero. So once you talk to him first, he'll give you the quest and he'll lend you some uh snow boots. So um, and this be this will help you in the quest because like you walk snow slower on snow just, just like sand. But um, also once you get that, we are going to need to head to the Gerudo Summit. So the first statue is gonna be right here. So there you can actually literally see the statue right there on the map. It's gonna be like wherever is next to Hamar's descent next to this place in the Gerudo Mountain area. I would recommend traveling, fast traveling to this shrine than just running across and gliding down to here. That will be where the first one is. And for the snow boost, I, I will show you where that is in a second. It should be right here, I believe. But so, let's go ahead and teleport from here. Okay. We are now at this place, and if you remember, then you can equip the snow boots for now, and you will be much faster. Or you can just call your horse over if you have uh, like ancient bright ancient saddle on them, I believe. Or you can just use the master cycle. I can use the master cycle for now. If you don't have a horse nearby, then you can just run over with the snow boots. That will there are a few treasure chests on the way. Also, you are still freezable if you do that. So, if you want to be unfreezable, ah, uh, the Oh, I don't think I really know. Oh! Alright, so now we're here to... You can just see it right there. Here is the statue of the Space Arrow. Now that you have it, I'm pretty sure that it will show up on your map. Well, I think what I did was just slide on top of his her, her hand and take a picture. There you go. But we're not done yet, because that's only for the sand boots. If you also want the snow boots, don't just go back just yet. You can just, the other one is gonna be right here. He's gonna ask you to take a picture of the sword. And the eighth harrowing sword is gonna be right here. So if you didn't leave this area, you can just make your way back up and head over here. If you already left, then you can fast travel back to here, climb up through here, and head here. Or you can just he head to this shrine, the Kia Yog Shrine, and just uh, climb up over here. So I'm just gonna head back up straight from here. So 
also there to picture of the first one. What we need to do is this line up. disappeared into bones and went into the ground once again and there's a blood moon that's not pleasant. Really? Alright. Anyways, if you choose to go this way you will have to climb a little. Same thing if you go that way. You can try whistle sprinting up the mountain for the first few parts, but if this doesn't work, where the mountain becomes too steep, then you'll just have to climb. So this can save you some stamina. Not sure. How <laughs> why didn't I take that? I don't know. Might take a while. Blood moon. Lovely. The view, I say. There's a plateau there. I wonder what that is. Plenty of time. time, everything responds, blah blah blah. Okay. And I'm almost out of stamina too. I think you can stay here. No, 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 no. Alright, apparently you cannot stay there. I thought you could. I do have some stamina too. So smart in Alright, that took longer than I thought it would, but now you just head over to that blue place, or that pin I marked, which is the sword. This is going to be the location of the sword. Is that all? remember there being a line here, but apparently there is some um, market. I'll fight him later, guys. Don't worry. No, no, no. I'll fight him. Oh, he just responded. For the compendium. So, uh, there is going to be a moblin here. I think he scaled, so he... So he will be either a black one or a silver one, depending on how far you progress. But you might need to take them out. A couple sneak strikes will There we go. Two sneak strikes. Sneak strikes do a deal a lot of damage. 
Alright, once you've gotten that done, just head over here. And you can see that's the sword. And, and, and there's a clear and... Alright, so now just take a picture of the sword. That zoom is too far in. And then you should be able to... Uh, now all you have to do is head back to this guy. Right here, he's the jockey guy who will give you the sand boots and the snow boots. Just head back to him. back, find him again, he's right there. Tell him to come back. I'm not sure, I think you have to be dressed as the girl, so be, turn into girl Link again, and then just find him. Just catch up to him here. Probably climb onto the wall, this is faster. Front of him, and talk to him. Uh, and then talk to him, and then he'll change his dialogue, and then you can just say you found it. sand boots and he'll give them to you. There we go. Now you can enhance these. And then he wants his oh. snow boots back. Oh. Oh. And then I just find him and talk to him again. Because you want the snow boots, right? Just go ahead and talk to him. Alright, hold up. You, you, <laughs> you gotta make sure it's daytime, so just go ahead and grab some wood. If you progress the Gerudo time, sure that you have a bundle or two. <laughs> Line around. No, I'll just wait on you. Guess. Hello. You should be up now. Just talk to him again. Mm. Ah. Wait, you just say, I want snow boots. For it, he says he wants to show you the sword, or he wants to see the sword, mm -hmm. and then he says he cannot lend it. Ah. And then I'll just talk to him again because if you've been paying, listening, then you've already taken a picture of the sword, so just talk to him again. You don't need to go anywhere if you. Oh took the steps directly. And then just tell him again, show him the thing and he'll give you the boots. The, the snow boots. He'll be surprised again. Huh? 
Oh. And then he'll ask you who you are and just take the snow boots. <laughs> take them off again. And then he'll ask you to go out with them. Huh. And I just don't look at the glitch. Alright. And that's how you get the sand boots and the snow boots. So everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.